It is the 23rd of the 11th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. I'm going to go ahead and start on uh, SOT.net tonight. Climate study finds mysterious rise in erratic weather. Well, the world isn't just warming. In parts of the planet, the weather is becoming more erratic, new research indicates. By looking at the measurements of sunlight striking the planet's surface, as well as precipitation records, the study has found that in certain places, daily weather is increasingly flip-flopping between sunny and cloudy, and downpours and dry days. It's not yet clear why this is happening. We have a 6.7 magnitude earthquake in Bolivia, and it looks like at 13.53 CST and then they got a 6.6 .6 in Bolivia uh, no real reports of damage or anything uh, here we go again oh no global warming looms here comes climate gate 2 breaking news two years after climate gate a further batch of emails have been leaked onto the internet by person or persons unknown and as before, they show scientists at the heart of the man-made global warming industry in a most unflattering light. Michael Mann, Phil Jones, Ben Santler, Tom Wigley, Kevin Trenberth, and Keith uh, Briffall, all, oh, Briffa, all your favorite climate gate characters are here once again caught red-handed in a series of emails exaggerating the extent of anthropologic or anthropogenic global warming while privately admitting to one another that the evidence is nowhere near as strong as they would like it to be. In other words, what these, these emails confirm is that the great man-made global warming scare is not about science but about political activism. It seems this, it seems, is what motivated whistleblower um, to go public, and uh, this just goes to show that they are they are doctoring the information. We cannot trust uh, this global warming science and the numbers that they're giving out because they're falsifying this data to make it so they can get better um, budgets. It's all about the budgets. That's why they want that carbon tax, so you can pay all these guys to lie to you. Here we go again. And again. Attorney says Monsanto well still leaks oil from the seafloor. An environmental attorney said oil is still leaking from BP's Monsanto formation more than 16 months after the well was declared sealed. The attorney said the only explanation for fresh oil bearing the month, the month, the Mac, the, the Macondo fingerprint was washed ashore on a barrier islands that the seafloor was damaged during the deep water horizon blowout, and the oil is seeping through. The April 20, 2010 explosion of the deep water horizon killed 11 people and dumped millions of gallons into the uh, Gulf of Mexico for 87 days until the well was declared crapped on July 15, 2010. And they also got uh, what came to be the climate change update started. This is the story that got me putting the news out here. And I'll tell you, there's more than just millions. There's hundreds of millions of barrels that were released into the Gulf of Mexico and uh, probably millions of gallons of Corexit that was sprayed over the Gulf killing everything and all they do to check your seafood out of the Gulf of Mexico does it smell like petroleum it's safe I got videos to prove it you go feel free to track back and check <sighs> enough said about that US heavy rain strong winds drench western Washington Seattle a late November storm is blasting Washington with high winds drenching rains and heavy snow a high wind warning is in effect on the coast until noon Tuesday along with flood watches through Wednesday night uh, for river for rivers that easily flood in the western region in the western Washington and a winter storm warning for the North Cascades until 6 p.m. Tuesday for up to a foot of new snow 
And we've got another volcano uh, erupting in Guatemala. The Guatemalan Geophysical Survey reports increasing explosive activity. Um, I believe it's F Fuego. Uh, sorry if I mispronounced it. Volcano, one of the country's most activist volcanoes. Uh, was observed producing ash clouds reaching 1,500 to 2,000 meters above the summit crater. And it was drifting southwest. And uh, the ashes spread, of course. Kenneth becomes the latest major hurricane ever recorded in the eastern Pacific. Uh, hurricane Keith is seen as, seen, uh, becomes the fourth tropical storm on record to form the eastern Pacific after November 18th, and the second latest hurricane after Hurricane Winnie on December 5th, 1983. Very late storm in the season. And... All right, they got a story about unusual cloud formations over the Hudson Bay in Canada. Uh, actually, I'll post this picture on my channel uh, for a while. It's really cool. And uh, that's about all they have new tonight. Uh, there's really nothing new going on on the other channels uh, as far as the RSOE or, or the Watchers or Extinction Protocol. So I'm just going to go ahead and straight go over to uh, ENE News. Uh, that's the nuclear stuff. High-level whistleblower. Plutonium may cause explosion at Washington nuclear facility. Design, design manager warns of dire consequences. Now, this is a uh, nuclear waste facility in Washington state, and this guy's talking about how the business is more interested in hiring the contractors uh, for the cheapest bidder than the safety measures. And uh, this stuff can produce those hydrogen bubbles that we know explode as far as Fukushima. Uh, I got a story. ABC government says nearly one-tenth of Japan has been contaminated by radiation from Fukushima. <laughs> I'm saying it's more than a tenth. And then they're going on again about the Japan TV star suffering from acute leukemia after eating Fukushima produce live on TV, telling everybody it was safe to eat. And uh, speaking of the whole global warming um, scam going on, here's a story. Strange, two high-profile Fukushima studies were edited by a global warming advocate, James Hansen, who wrote this article, Why Americans Needs Nuclear Energy, or Why America Needs Nuclear Energy. Um, he's had these studies since, looks like September and October, Or no, he's had them since July, and he's just released them back in September and October. Uh, Hansen is best known for his research in the field of climatology, his testimony on climate change to congressional committees in 1988 that helped raise broad awareness of global warming. This is one of those guys. And his advocacy of action to avoid dangerous climate change. In recent years, Hansen has become an activist for action to, to mitigate the effects of climate change, and he is a pro-nuclear guy, and they've got him putting out these reports. So heads up on that. Uh, that is about all I have for you tonight. Uh, of course, if I missed anything, please leave your comments or attach your videos below. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.